published, 1940 EDT, the 20th of April 2018, updated, 2121 EDT, the 20th of April 2018 The arrival records for tens of thousands of immigrants from the Windrush generation have been found in the National Archives. The find strengthen the cases for those trying to prove they are British citizens who were being told they had to leave the UK. The ledger, found after an investigation by the Financial Times, shows arrivals at ports until 1960 with more than 85,000 people arriving from Caribbean countries. The arrival records for tens of thousands of immigrants from the Windrush generation have been found in the National Archives. The find strengthen the cases for those trying to prove they are British citizens who were being told they had to leave the UK. These include citizens who arrived from the Caribbean on Empire Windrush in 1948. It was the ship's name that would come to define the generation. The information, compiled by the Board of Trade, could prove vital in helping those under threat claim UK citizenship. The Home Office destroyed its cache of landing slips eight years ago, in a bid to update a protection. But the department since rejected applications for UK citizenship because of a lack of evidence to support their arrival date claims. The move came despite staff warnings that the move would make it harder to check. The records of older Caribbean-born residents experiencing residency difficulties, it was claimed. The reveal tie-ins come after Prime Minister Theresa May issued her second groveling apology in two days to the Caribbean migrants threatened with deportation. The ledger, found after an investigation by the Financial Times, shows arrivals at ports until 1960 with more than 85,000 people arriving from Caribbean countries she said Windrush immigrants are British. They are part of us and vowed to ensure they can stay in the UK. She told the House of Commons, and for those who have mistakenly received letters challenging them, I want to apologize to them. But Mrs. May also revealed that the disastrous decision to shred landing cards that could help prove the right of Windrush immigrants to stay was taken in 2009 by a Labour government. The Home Office destroyed its cache of landing slips eight years ago, in a bid to update a protection. But the department since rejected applications for UK citizenship because of a lack of evidence to support their arrival date claims her revelation was met with gasps and shouts from the Tory benches who urged Labour to apologise after they had blamed Mrs May for the destruction of the cards, which happened in 2010 when she was Home Secretary. Her apology, delivered in PMQs, comes as Amber Rudd is today facing calls to quit as Home Secretary over the Windrush fiasco. Speaking at the European Parliament in Strasbourg, the MEP said, Certainly after the Windrush scandal in Britain, we want to be sure that the same is not happening to our European citizens and that there is no bureaucratic nightmare there.